Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video review we're having side by side the HTC One and the Nokia Lumia 920. Or in other words, a battle between perhaps the best Android handset and the top Windows Phone 8 smartphone of the moment. We're not going to focus on comparing the two operating systems, there are plenty of other clips doing that on YouTube. I will however tell you a couple of important things about them. On one side there's Android 4.1 Jellybean running on the HTC One with Sense 5 on top, a customizable and versatile OS backed up by a mature ecosystem but one that does come with a learning curve, especially with Sense that changes the native Android experience with its different design, new notification system, app drawer and software like Blinkfeed. On the other there's Windows Phone 8, a completely different OS. One that I do find easier to understand by newcomers, but also one far more close and difficult to tweak and customize. And then one that still lacks some of the apps and the features available on Android, like Instagram or a smart dialer to name just one of each. So in the end, choosing one side over the other is up to you. I for one am happy to let you know that both phones are incredibly snappy while dealing with everyday tasks and can handle more complex chores as well, like modern games and all sorts of multimedia content. And that despite the fact that the hardware on the HTC One is clearly faster than the one powering the Nokia, so kudos to Microsoft for their software optimizations. In fact, both these phones are great multimedia companions, mainly thanks to their gorgeous screens. The HTC however comes on top thanks to its clearly superior sound system, with boom sound stereo speakers and beats audio, as you can hear for yourselves here. Let's focus a bit on those screens though. On the HTC there's a full HD 4.7 inch display with a super LCD 3 panel and this is probably one of the best screens I've ever seen on a mobile phone. The colors, the contrast, the viewing angles are all almost beyond reproach and thanks to its 469 ppi density everything is going to look incredibly sharp on this screen. The Lumia 920 packs a slightly smaller 4.7 inch display with 768 by 1280 pixel resolution, so the pixel density is poorer, but you'll hardly see the difference in everyday use. Nokia uses an AMOLED panel for their flagship, plus what they call the clear black filter, which does help delivering the darkest of blacks, excellent colors and contrast. The AMOLED screen on the 920 is also brighter than the one on the HTC, which means that the Lumia will be easier to use outside in strong light. But there's one more thing. Both screens are covered by Gorilla Glass, but the layer on top of the Nokia is more sensitive, so you will be able to use the Lumia with gloves or even with a standard pen, a feature not offered by the HTC. And then there's another important aspect that makes these two phones stand out from the crowd, their main shooters. It's a fight between Nokia's pure view technology and HTC's ultra pixels, allow me to explain. The HTC One comes with a 4 ultra pixel camera, which in simple words means that it can only take 4 megapixel pictures, but the actual pixels on the sensor are larger than the ones on the average camera. That combined with an optical image stabilization system and an f2.0 lens does help the One get great peaks in poor light conditions. Unfortunately, the lower resolution pays its toll when it comes to good light pictures, where the stills coming out of the HTC are rather washed out and lacking details. The Nokia Lumia 920 comes with an 8.7 megapixel pure view camera, also with an f2.0 lens and image stabilization. This too has the advantage of letting plenty of light in, which helps with low light shots, but fair light pictures are pretty good too. However, while the camera on the Lumia captures more details, it also tends to oversaturate colors and skew white balance from time to time. And the same happens with the videos. See the pictures and the clips in the next part of the comparison and judge by yourself which of the two cameras is better.
I should also mention the more shooting options offered by the HTC One and the more complex camera interface that includes some Instagram-like filters, a proper photo editor and Zoe. On the Lumia you have lenses. Alright, and now that we talked about the software, the screens and the cameras, let's focus a bit on what's left. First, the design. The two devices are both proof that a modern phone can look different than the pack. The Lumia 920 is available in a bunch of lively colors, although regretfully we have the white one here. Its body is made from polycarbonate, glossy, so it will show smudges, but the build quality is actually very good, as this Nokia is one of the sturdiest handsets of the moment. Unfortunately, it doesn't just feel strong, it's massive too, weighing 185 grams. The HTC is a tough one as well, in fact it's probably one of the best built Android handsets I've ever seen, with its aluminum and matte plastic case. And it is both more compact and lighter than the Lumia, despite packing a larger screen, as you saw before. For now, I will have to tell you that while both these phones are large, the HTC is actually comfortable to use and sits well in hand, thanks to its rounded back and chamfered edges. The Nokia is alright too, with its rounded sides, but to be frank, I had a very time getting used to it mainly because of its larger width and heavier body. In either case though, if you want a compact phone that you can easily use single-handedly, neither are going to cut it for you. Having a look around the edges of the two phones, you'll notice a power button that also integrates an IR blaster on the HTC, a headphone jack, a volume rocker and a micro USB port with support for MHL HDMI video output. You'll find pretty much the same things on the Nokia, which does lack an infrared sensor and the MHL support, but offers a dedicated shutter button. Neither of these phones offer a micro SD card slot, so there's no way to increase the storage space if you need to. And then there are some other details I should mention. Both phones can handle calls just right and did not have any signal dropping problems. Also, both support 4G LTE speeds, wireless, Bluetooth and NFC. As we draw close to the end of this comparison, there are two more important aspects to talk about. First one is battery life. Both these handsets feature encased batteries, a 2000mAh on the Nokia and a slightly larger 2300mAh on the HTC. They will last through the day with average use and even for 2 days when used lightly, which is just about what you can expect from such smartphones these days. The Nokia does support wireless charging though, while the HTC does not, and that's a nice extra. Prices are the other aspect I have to mention, but since the two phones are pretty close, both on or off contract, that shouldn't weigh that much in your decision between the two. In the end, it's hard to say which of these phones is better, because they are so different. On a first look, the HTC with its sharper screen, faster hardware and slicker body comes on top. But the Nokia has the camera on its side, which is a crucial feature for many smartphone buyers. And then there's the Android vs Windows Phone 8 debate, which can steer you towards one or the other. Those being said, iPhone 1 would lean towards the HTC, as the camera is not really that important for me and I can't get used to the massiveness of the Lumia 920. But you might feel otherwise, so please tell me in the comments below which of these two handsets would you pick right now and why. And with that in mind, it's time to end this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it, plus share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel for future updates. I'll see you later.